Man, it's good to be back on, Doc. Man, I'm excited to talk about what God is about to do. Yeah, it is. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. He's good. He's worthy. And then we're going to wait for the audience to come on and build it up and let God do what he do. And then we're just going to go before the Lord. And man, God bless you, Sister Kimberly. God bless you. God bless you. Um, you're on The Real Talk tonight with Minister Jamal Ali and myself. And man, invite everybody. <laughs> invite everybody. We're about to go and let God do what he does. Yep, yep, yep. God part. bless you, Brother Darnell Higgins. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get it shared everywhere. The power of the gospel. Uh-oh, I'm not even finding my own group. <laughs> Let me just go through here. Okay, let's do this. Hey, man, tonight we have a dynamite subject for you. And we want you to tune in and be a part of what God is doing here on Real Talk. Tonight you're on with myself and Minister Jamal Ali. Say something, Minister. Yeah, God bless to all those who will be tuning in tonight. We just we just hope that you you, you, you get what's uh, necessary on this topic tonight. I, I actually believe this is something very critical that people need to know. Amen. So I, I really hope that... Um, you know, you, you, all the listeners who's tuning in, share this video, um, and, and, and just partake in what's about to happen. God bless West Coast Fletcher Brinson and wife. And man, man, if you have not been to his site, please go to his Facebook page. That brother's music is off the chain. You do not want to miss it. Amen. So God bless all those who are coming on tonight. We just want to say, oh, God bless Minister um, Bogan coming in, a part of Loving Unity Church <laughs> Outreach Ministry. God bless you, man. Please forgive us for our heads being down. We are at this time are inviting other people to become a part of tonight's show. So please stay with us. We'll be right back. We're not going anywhere. We just want to get as many people tuned in as possible because God is about to do something tonight. And man, minister, so many people talk about the word and revelation. Right. So, so in a minute, we're going to get into that, man, because yeah. we, we feel <laughs> that there's some things that we need to share with the body of Christ that are pertinent and, rev and revelant. Yeah, I, it's very important, you know, to really get a, a, a keen understanding of God's word and not just that, to really know the hidden secrets right. of what God is has put you, in, in the spirit. Right, right, Amen. right. So, so I, I'm glad you're having this because it really goes into what I I uh, was talking about to some young believers yesterday about right. why is it important right. to know scripture and right. to, to get the revelation of what's been of what's written right. uh, in the sixty six books of the Bible, man. So I'm I'm excited. Um, Do me a favor, man. Let's go ahead and pray so we can get where God is taking us. Amen. And we want to let you know something tonight. We don't want to be just the average show on Facebook and social media to where people That's say, right. "Ooh, that was nice. That was good." We are here to give you divine revelation knowledge. So that God can take and what we give you, you can feed someone else because he told Peter. He asked Peter a question. Love without me, feed my sheep. He asked him three times to make sure he understood love. Yes. God bless you, Sister Sharon Newsom. Um, go ahead and pray, Doc. Yes, Heavenly Father, we just want to just say, uh, God, thank you for this opportunity once again to just give to those who believe in your name and profess the name of Jesus Christ, um, the word of God. Lord, we just uh, ask that you just keep our eyes and our ears focused and attentive to your word and to what we say. Father God, we just pray that the hearts are ready to receive what's yes. necessary. Yes. Uh, Father God, what you have revealed to your people and to your those whom you've called and chose. Lord, we just pray not tonight, uh, God, that you visit those people, Lord, who are in need of a word. And who are in need of a touch from you uh, God we stand in agreement with those who are praying Your will yes. we, are, we stand in agreement with those who are praying your word Father God Jesus. and we just ask in Jesus name yes. That you Lord Let your miracles yes. Father God be wrought through us again yes. God let your word be ma Magnified in us again God yes. We just pray Lord that your will is sought And done Lord as we yes. seek your kingdom First Father God and we just ask That the, the value that we have for your word Increases yes. and that the people Understand that in it the is name necessary Jesus. For us to study our Bibles yes. And to get the understanding And to know that you have mysteries hidden That you are willing to reveal To those who seek your face God yes. in the name of Jesus, Jesus We name. just pray God uh, for your word To go forth and have free course Amen Amen. Thank God for Sister Michelle Holmes Patterson being on God bless you woman of God We truly love you And man can't wait to get back over there to the church with you yes. And fellowship Listen here's the purpose of tonight's show 
Um, God gave me something last night and I asked a question. What's relative about Jesus? Because the Mormon Bible, Joseph Smith, they talk about Jesus as being a prophet. And I asked the young minister here, I say, well, the Muslim, the nation of Islam, they see Jesus as a prophet. And we also mm -hmm. talk about Jesus. So what's the difference? So what, what do you think the difference was when I was talking to you, Doc? Uh, God bless you, Sister uh, Johnson. Like, like I stated, I, it's, the difference is that we have revealed knowledge. And I, it, it's crazy because when I first came to the faith, I just thought that, you know, okay, read the Bible, understand the Bible. But that's just not it. We have to know that Jesus Christ was not just only man, but he was both man and fully God at the same time. And he, he is the revealed word of God. He is the only living, true, revelatory knowledge that we need to su be successful in this life today. The, the funny thing is that 40% of people read their Bible across the world. Only 40%. Wow. And out of that 40%, only 10% know and understand God's plan of redemption through revelation. So tonight what we're going to do, we're going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. And we're going to share some things with you that have value so you can know the strength of the truth of God's word for yourself. Child of God, it is not enough just to shout. It is not enough just to speak in tongues. It is not enough just to say, Jesus, I love you. And don't understand the implications of living outside his word without revelation understanding. So let's do it. Go with us. Where are we going? Tell them where we're going, Doc. We're going to be coming from Matthew 16, the book of Matthew um, chapter 16 We're going to start at verse 13 Before you read the verse man, man set, the, set the table to where we're going tonight What I talked to you about earlier uh, <laughs> it's this, this, these, this, The particular passage Man we're going to go over Is, 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 is mind blowing Knowing that now I have a greater understanding Of what I understood before right. Now when we take a look, a look at The life of Jesus We know that there was times he spoke in parables And there were some times he spoke things Plainly right. but now we're coming here And we see Peter At the forefront of having revelation Of who right. Jesus Christ was right. Right, right, right. So now, now, now We are going to take a look at what Jesus meant when he said, "All right, upon this rock, and I uh, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church." And 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 um, something that I really want to um, uh, convey to the people that Christ said, "Peter, I, I'm giving you." Don't keys. give him too much yet. Don't give him too much yet. Don't, don't give him too much yet. Let's, right. let's break down how we do it. Let's give the points of understanding. Yes, sir. Let me say this. First of all, I've been saved over 35 years, but within the last six years of becoming a pastor. Or a shepherd, God has begun to reveal <laughs> himself to me because I have people like this young man in the church who study Isaiah 35, not 2 Timothy 2, 15 only, but Isaiah 34 and 16, mm -hmm. to where it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and, and read, read. Mm -hmm. none shall fail, none shall lack her mate, for my mouth has commanded and my spirit has gathered it. Most that's people right. will look at that scripture in the literary text and the understanding and just say, oh, that's nice. God's spirit and his commandment without having true revelation knowledge of the advantage of speaking the gospel to someone out of the book of Isaiah. That's right. So what we're going to start doing in these shows, we're going to start teaching the truth and the understanding. And man, God bless all those who have tuned in. We just would say we want to love you. Um, and we hope that something is said tonight to where you get it. So I want to look at the four points here in Matthew 16 and 13 that um, only God revealed to me the other day. Uh, and I was like, God, keep speaking to me. Your Holy Spirit is amazing. Wow. Again, don't forget, <laughs> Joseph Smith in the Mormon Bible talks about Jesus as a prophet. Minister Louis Farrakhan, who I love very much, talks about Jesus as mm -hmm. a prophet. So what is the difference in our Bible when we speak of Jesus wow. and we and those individuals speak of Jesus? Wow. The one difference is revelation. And I'm going to show you in the text tonight what we mean. Read out. Amen. Uh, we're going to start at verse 13. Once again, we're coming from the book of Matthew uh, the, of the Synoptic Gospels, chapter 16. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 13 says, when Jesus came into the coast of of Caesarea, Caesarea Philippi, uh -huh. he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, I, the son of man, am? Stop. We never considered this because we, as I was taught as a young minister, don't run through the scripture. Right. Don't leap through the scripture. Walk so you can find the value of everything that was written. Mm. Here in the first part of the text, uh, God or Jesus asked a question, 
who do men say that I am? Mm -hmm. In other words, we see the same trilogy and understanding today in the world. There are a lot of people who are announced Jesus or who talk about Jesus, right. yet they don't know who he is. Wow. Uh, Many call his name, yet they don't know who he is. Even in in Philippians, the Bible says every knee and every tongue going to bow. And they're going to wow. confess to the glory of God that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of the Father. So Jesus is Lord. Many will confess it. Many will say it. But does everyone believe who he is? Read. So first of all here, let's go back. Point one, Jesus asked the disciples, mm -hmm. who do men say that I am? Read. And they said, some say thou art John the Baptist. Mm, watch this. Some say among the men, uh, Joseph Smith and the Bible, the Mormons, you are a prophet. Uh, Minister Louis Farrakhan said he was a prophet. And so here the disciples said, some say thou art John the Baptist. Child of God, when you are not born of the spirit of mm -hmm. God, the only way that God can speak to you through his word is by divine revelation and understanding. Wow. And it's not given to everyone. Read. And then it says some Elias mm -hmm. and others Jeremiah. Now let's see what they're saying. These wow. are individuals who walked with him. These are individuals who go to church every Sunday. Mm. These are individuals who say, I have a rhema word. We ain't going to deal with that. A, a, no. a rhema <laughs> and a logos word. That's Amen. I wish I could deal with that tonight night but i can't no. really deal with that <laughs> on another time amen so these are individuals who say we know him but yet they didn't have an understanding of who he really was mm -hmm. go ahead doc and then it says or one of the prophets wait a minute here now who said that before wow we just talked about that wow, you just or said one, so guess what and if wow. an individual reads this mm -hmm. and they don't read it from a spiritual perspective they're going to misinterpret what right. god is saying right but here he said who do men say that i am that's right men represents the flesh mm-hmm it doesn't represent the spirit of God. Wow. It represents the flesh. So what we have to understand that God is doing things according to his will and yes. his purpose. Read. Yes. And, and, and also I see here that they referenced the law. Yes. They referenced the Old Testament. Yes. But they did not have divine revelation of who Jesus Christ yes. was. Yes. Come on. Talk to me. Wow. And then uh, verse verse. Uh, 15 says he said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? Now watch this. So here is a difference. He say, who do men? Men are referenced to those who are walking not according to the will That's of right. God, according right. to the flesh. Now, wow. those who he has been teaching, those who have been walking with him, now he says this, but who do you say that I am? Wow. In other words, the declaration means there should be a what? A difference between the one, the flesh, and, and the, the spirit. spirit. That's right. Mm, talk to me. And, Read, Doc. And Simon Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Now watch this. There are 12 people here, but only one makes this declaration. Now, wait a minute. Jesus said, who do men say that I am? Mm -hmm. But Simon says here, <laughs> thou art the Christ, wow. the son of the living God. He goes away from the perspective of men to walk yes. into the position yes. of the spirit. Yes. Oh, so, but you are the Christ, the son of wow. the living God. So let's see why, where he gets this from. Read. Well, wow. and, and, and before we go on, he never referenced nobody else. He never said that Come on. these guys said it or they them on. said it. Oh, he, he made a declaration Come on. and stated truth. He said, thou art the Christ, Come on. the son of the living God. Yes. And Jesus answered and said unto him, blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, mm -hmm. for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto uh -huh. thee. But my father, which is in heaven. Uh, so he said, flesh and blood have wow. not revealed it unto you, but the spirit, which is in heaven. And then because God is his word. So then the word of God revealed to Peter based on teaching and the principal understanding of who Peter was with the Messiah, the redeemer. Peter had revelation mm. insight to who Jesus was. So wow. he's able to speak based on the spirit informing him who the man was. Now, here's the key here where we're going. Go ahead. You want to say something else? Uh, 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 where we going is is what blew me away. Um, and like I said, man, he sometimes we we second guess Jesus instead of just stating the truth about who he is. But we can't do that. Like we say, if you don't have revelation, they can only call him prophets because they don't have revelation. They can only call him the carpenter's son because they didn't have revelation. But since God has revealed his word to us because of his spirit, we know that he is the son of God. We know that he is the word of God Car was incarnated in flesh. Watch this. Jesus deals. Let's go back to the first point. 
the first point Jesus said, who do men, men say that right. I am? That's because right. he knew Joseph Smith and the Mormon church would be saying <laughs> he's only a prophet. That's ah! right. He knew that, right. that the nation Before of Islam knowledge. would only call him a prophet. Why? Wow. Because it was written in his word before the foundation of earth. Child of God, I love to preach. Uh, I love to get a good homily. Yes. Uh, I love to go for it. Yes. I love to do what God has put in my spirit. And, but at the same time, it is the teaching principle of God that will set the world upside That's down. Right. And the gospel, when it's preached in the demonstration of power, simply mean when it's revealed uh, will cause those who are lost to turn around. Mm -hmm. It will cause those who don't know Christ to give their life to him. A lot of people say, well, why do we need the Bible, the word? Why do you need this? Wow. Because it is the word of God that the apostles used when they had revelation of him that turned the world upside down. Let me, let God, thank you, Holy Ghost. He just revealed something to me. In Acts 23, 24, Paul has been arrested. Now mm -hmm. watch this. Paul was a Jew, right? Yes, sir. And Paul was a citizen of Rome. But listen how Paul, wow. within his dissertation of being uh, being arrested, listen to what Paul is say when they give him a chance to speak. He says, men mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. brethren. That's right. The men reference who? Those who are walking according to, to the law, flesh. according to the flesh. Mm -hmm. Then he says, brethren, That's right. those who are walking Agreed according to the, the, uh, the spirit. In the right. spirit. So you can't tell me everybody in church is walking according to the spirit. Child of God, you can be saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost and not have revelation of God's plan, purpose of redemption. Wow. Mm, watch this read. And he says, and I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. I've been looking at this a long time. <laughs> and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So Peter, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell wow. shall not prevail against it. Upon the foundation that was written in John 1, 1, in the beginning was, was the, the word. word. That's right. And the word was with God and the word was, was God. God. So, right. Peter, I can only build the foundation uh, upon the rock. That's why Ephesians 2 and 20 said we are built upon, upon the, apostles, the apostles, the prophets, and, and Jesus Christ, Christ himself, the chief That's cornerstone. Right. So, Peter, upon my word, uh, from the wow. foundation of the world, in the beginning... I'm going to build my church. But there's something critical here that we got to look at. <laughs> After Peter is given the word of God, you can teach a person the word, but that, that does not mean that they're ready to receive the keys. Now watch this read. And he says, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou loose on earth shall be loosed. In heaven. It ain't talking about get a demon at the altar and speaking in tongues <laughs> no. and calling something out. First of all, you can't rebuke a demon. I'm so tired of hearing people rebuke demons. I don't know what to do. The Bible says Satan, the Lord rebukes That's you. That's right. That's the, right. The, the, the word rebuke does not mean to set a demon apart from the body. The word rebuke means to correct or bring into order. That word is for Christians within Christendom, not for the devil. But let me get back to this. So Jesus give Peter keys. And I've been wondering what these keys were. Mm, mm, mm. So wait a minute, child of God. Before you can get the key, you need the rock. Mm. <laughs> the rock is the vehicle that will drive wow. the keys. Uh, the rock is the vehicle to where the manifestation of God's glory will give you understanding in the spirit how to understand the rock that's been given. Go ahead and wow. say something, Doc. Man, and, and it's crazy. Like you said, I've, I've looked over this jump skip, man, went back to it trying to figure out what were these keys and why this, this rock. He said this rock. He was like the rock, a rock. He said this rock. What rock was he referring that Jesus Christ said this rock? This is what he says man. right then. He didn't say key. Plural, no, singular. He said keys. Plural. Yes. Remember Isaiah 32 and 1? Right. And it said, a man shall be a hiding place. That's right, a man. Come mm -hmm. on. That's From right. From the wind and, and the, the tempest. tempest. Yes, sir. But then Isaiah 53 and 1, what does it say? Say, whom shall the arm of the Lord be revealed? Say, he shall grow up as a tender root. That's right. Out of a dry ground. Wow. But then at the end of that verse, it says, to whom have the Lord, who have, who have believed our report? Mm -hmm. And to whom has the singular arm, arm of the Lord right. been revealed? <laughs> so that tells me it is not enough just to have a rock out of God, but the rock needs to be revealed so you will know how to operate according to when you are given the keys wow. everyone, wasn't, everyone was not given the keys no, sir. only those who had understanding 
prophetically to the Spirit of God, yes, Peter was given the keys. Well, while Peter given the keys on the day of Pentecost, Peter opened the doors of the church. But let's go back and see what these keys are now. Wow. Read that for me again. And he says, We're almost done. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now, wait a minute. What are the keys? Wow. Were all the apostles given the keys at the same time? No, sir. But Paul received some keys. But wow. Paul had to meet the rock first <laughs> on the road to Damascus. <laughs> Then after Paul met the rock on the oh, road to man. Damascus, the rock sent him down to Ananias' wow, house. That's right. And Ananias began to minister to him. That's and right. after he ministered to him, Paul received See, what? The keys. keys. That's right. The that's keys right. are the mysteries of God hidden wow. from the wise and the prudent, which have now been revealed Unto to babes. That's so right. what Peter did, child wow. of God, Peter received the mysteries of God when he said when he said this. Wow, God of the man. Christ, the Son of the living God. Oh, then God said, My my Flesh and blood can't reveal that to you. Joseph Smith, the Muslim church can't reveal it. It only comes by the Spirit of God That's right. that you know God's nature and His plan mm. operating within the scope of the Spirit. Wow. And, and that goes with the whole Bible. If we cannot read uh, uh, um, um, Genesis 3.15 without understanding the spirit of it. Or we cannot read uh, John 5.39 without understanding the spirit yes, of the whole Bible. Yes, sir. Everything from Genesis to Revelation reference Christ, talks about Christ, even yes, the sir. nature, how we act, how we live, how we think. It's all about Jesus Christ who was revealed unto us. Unto babes. Well, why does he say babes? Wow. If we go to John, the third chapter, uh, one of the rulers come, That's one, of, right. one of the Sanhedrin Nicodemus. Come, Nicodemus. He said, Master, we know that thou art a teacher sent from God. Wait a minute. <laughs> How is he able to say this unless God reveals something to him? Wow. You are a teacher sent from God. No man can do these miracles except... God wow. be with him. So then Jesus tell Nicodemus, you must be born again. Born Why? Again. Because the word of God was hidden from you when you were a Pharisee. It was hidden from you when you were walking with the scribes. It was hidden from you That's when right. you were walking according to the law. But since you are coming to me now and declaring, how can I oh be born goodness. a child, a baby? God said, I'm going to open up the revelation, Nicodemus, so you can understand that you must be born of the water and of the spirit. That's right. Because Nicodemus, according to the law, did not understand He said how can a man Be born when he is old That's Can he right. go back Into his, his mother's womb Because Come he didn't on, have An understanding That's then. right Of what he was saying man. That's, how, that's, how, that's, that's how That's why it's important To have revelation Of the word of God Because we could read things Or understand things From from a, a humanistic Understanding per se Or just from a, 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 a How could I say Another level Of human understanding But it's The revelation of God Takes us deeper Takes us deeper And deeper Deeper until what man does not understand. That's why in Corinthians, Paul said, man, only the Spirit of God understand the things of God. Yes, sir. Anybody can read Scripture. Why? Because man wrote it. Yes. But we want to understand what was inspired by man Come to on, write Come on, by the Holy scriptures. Spirit. Come on now. Man. That's why in the book of Acts now, when Peter is given the keys, he uses the keys to open the doors of the church. You must understand Peter now because he has revelation wow. of who oh God is. Peter goes back and he rich, reaches back to David. David was the one called in Genesis 49 and 10 to where Jesus Christ was sent on his throne. According to the book of Revelations, the fifth chapter, all oh, that in the midst of the 24 elders and the throne of God stood a lamb as though it had wow. been slain. But then the Bible says, in Revelations 5 and 6 right. that the seven spirits of God were sent, sent forth to all the earth and all the earth well, wait a minute wow. that is a mystery yes, child sir. of God yes, it is a mystery how David according to the will of the flesh can be the father of Jesus who was the son of Joseph, Joseph and Mary wow. that is a mystery it is a mystery how God would take his only begotten son mm -hmm. and put him to death mm -hmm. according to Isaiah 53 and 10 right. for it pleased the father, father to bruise him. So the mysteries of God has been hidden from the wise and the prudent, but now revealed to babes. A babe is someone who relinquishes all their right and mm. their ability and become mm. prisoners of Christ. That's why Paul said, forgetting those, I want to become a baby, That's forgetting right. those things which, which are behind, behind me, I press towards the mark <laughs> of right. a higher calling, wow. which is in Christ Jesus. In other words, I 
got to re I can no longer remember I was named after Saul. I want to be man. a baby. Come on I can now. no longer remember I was circumcised on, on the, the eighth day. day. I want to be a baby. I can no longer remember that I was a part of the Sanhedrin, but Ooh. I got to forget those things man. which are behind me. That's the problem today. We want to look at God's word as a literary book and say man. we got understanding. Child of God, you can't do that. That's why if you look within Isaiah, the largest gospel in the world, study it for yourself, but the largest gospel in the world, when Jesus and John the Baptist met, the Bible says that the babes leaped in the mother's womb. Mm -hmm. But now John is in jail. Now John is in a situation to where, here's where revelation comes in, to where John is doubting. And John says, listen, he sent his disciples <laughs> to Jesus. Go ask the master, are you, you the, the one? one or you look for what, Jesus, what did he say back man, to him? He said, man, I, I come, I'm the one who come to heal, to give uh, uh, hearing to the deaf and sight to the blind and now uh, men are leaping because they have been healed but he was just referencing himself in Isaiah 32 which was spoken about Jesus Christ he said, go tell John that the blind have received their sight. That's right. Go tell John that the lame are walking and jumping. Go wow. tell the John that the deaf are hearing. Jesus spoke the word of God that was written before John got in prison. On, so that's now. the revelation that John understood. That's what he grabbed hope to. So child of God, when there is no revelation and there is no understanding, we can only walk in the flesh. Because wow. the opposite of flesh, oh, the goodness. flesh according to Romans the 8th chapter, <laughs> is the spirit. So the Bible says there is no condemnation. Nation. To those who are in what's watch this, not just in Christ, but in the revelation that's of right. God, that's who right. walk in not Christ. after the yes, flesh, but, but after, after the spirit. spirit. For right. the law of the spirit, the law of the spirit have made me free from the law of, of sin, sin and, and death. death. Right. Wherefore, what the law could not do, and it was weak, weak in, in the, the flesh. flesh. God sent his own son in the likeness <laughs> of sin, it, for sir. sin for flesh, <laughs> condemned in sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of God, the revelation, might be made known to you and I, wow. so we don't have to live in death mm, and, and and i like the word known or or manifest in other words and when it speaks of manifest that means there was something hidden or that or which could not be seen with the human eyes that was made a uh, manifest or revealed or brought to open sight in the spirit Come in on. the spirit realm man wow do you know how many people attend church wow. and don't know the plan of redemption man don't know that the New Testament and the Old Testament are one volume. Yes. They're yes. not separated. They're just two covenant, two promises that have to work together. That's why Isaiah said line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. So what God wants you to know, child of God, is his revealed word. Again, there are a multiplicity of people, Minister Green, what I'm thinking about you, brother, I said that word. <laughs> there, are, there are a multiplicity of people who love God's word and who read it without understanding. Yes. Read it without understanding. Whereby, when it comes to the harvest being ripe, but the laborers are few. Laborers are those operating in the field through the revealed word mm -hmm. of God, mm -hmm. as Peter did. Now, watch this. When you operate in the revealed word of God, it will bring a change to all those around. Listen what goes on. Wow. Those who hear Peter preaching, we're about to close. They say, men and brethren. What must we do to be, be saved? saved? That's right. Peter didn't turn no flips. He didn't call no altar call. He only spoke the revealed word. He used these words of Jesus' father, according to the flesh, David. He said, David said, and my Lord said to my Lord, mm -hmm. sit down what? At my, at my right, right hand. hand. Come on now. As if he ascended up into heaven. <laughs> <laughs> it, that that's the key. He Peter referenced David because David also had revel, revelation of God. He said yes, David yes. said as as if he how, how and David he was say, dead and buried. Come, come on now, come as as he ascended up into heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so then Peter references David because they knew the law. Yes, sir. So the only thing they could respond to was the law. That's right. But then Peter poured the spiritual aspect of, of the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit because of the keys based on the revelation. Thank you, Sister Michelle, the missionary and evangelist Michelle Holmes. The revelation that was given to Peter, he was able to use it for a people who knew the law. So Paul became a witness to the Gentiles to open up the way. So Paul said, I become all things to all to, men. that they may what? They may obtain or win Christ. Wow. Amen. So tonight, we just want to say thank you for tuning in. All those who stayed on, 
will be back. These young men, Minister Ali, Minister Dwayne Hyler, they'll be coming back on talking about what God is doing yes, through the Seed Talk Show. Go ahead and close us out, Doc. Amen. Final words. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this time again. Oh God, just just we just pray, Lord, that people receive the revelation of God, Lord, and 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 and, and just find it in them to study and value Your Word more than anything else in this word in this world, God. And we just um just ask that You open the eyes of the blind again, God, and open uh, the ears of the deaf again, uh, God, and use us as vessels of honor so that we may go out into all the world and do Your will in Jesus' name. But I do want to say that. It's 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 really important for us as Christians to really study our Bibles because I, it was at one point where I just thought you know if I could just get an understanding of what I read I'm cool but there are mysteries that God wants to reveal unto His babes there are mysteries man and 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 there's things that I still read that get me excited when I know who God is that He can give me that understanding and I have leaders uh, like uh, our Bishop himself. Who lays before God and can, can give us what's necessary for our understanding with our walk with Christ. Amen. So I just really want to encourage y'all and exhort y'all. Let's study. Let's become more scholars of God. More scholarly, so to say, the word we use. Let's become more disciples. And let's go and disciple others only with the word of God. You want to give some examples right quick before we leave? God bless you, um, Evangelist Michelle Holmes uh, uh, Patterson. We... Tell your husband we love you guys so much. Thank God for my nephew, brother Derek Webb, coming on. Re make sure you hit replay, brother Derek, and watch this man. And, and God will reveal to you some things. Um, let's deal with some of those we deal with. Let's deal with Isaiah thirty four sixteen. Oh yes, sir. Because what we have to understand each scripture in the Bible has a running mate. Mm -hmm. So the running mate to Second Timothy two fifteen study to show that self approved, approved is, unto is God. Isaiah thirty four sixteen. Right? That's right. A word would need not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the, the truth. Word of truth. The Old Testament companion for that would be Isaiah thirty four sixteen. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Mm -hmm. None shall fail. None shall lack her mate. That's for right. my mouth have commanded and my, and my spirit. spirit have gathered. If I have to ask the average Christian, and I'm not trying to belittle anybody, talk about anybody. Oh, no, what does sir. that mean? They can't tell you. No, because sir. there's two applications here that denote one thing. For my mouth has commanded mm -hmm. and my spirit has gathered. That's right. The mouth is the voice of the Mosaic law given to Moses. Wow. All right. But the spirit is the spirit of Jesus who came mm -hmm. in Second Samuel that he, that um, David's throne would be forever. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got that. But yes, we'll, sir. We'll teach that the next time. Um, an another ahead. one. Another one will be in Genesis, uh, where it says, um, "And let us make man." Right. You know, um, let us. Who is us? If God is one, why would He say, "Let us"? Uh, well, God cannot use anyone outside you of who up, He man. is. You get the Trinitarians <laughs> going, man. It ain't nothing what it's saying to God. create what He created. You make people Amen. Say the but Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> You're going to get in trouble, dog. John, John 1 clears it up. He said, in the beginning was the Word, yes. and the Word was yes. with God, and the Word was God. And then um, there's another scripture I think we read in Isaiah where it talks about in the earth being full of His glory. Yes. And back in John again, yes. it says that, and He was made flesh, the Word, yes. and we beheld His glory. His glory. Yes. And, 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 you know, like I say, if we can see these mysteries and not, you know, uh, just try to get an understanding, a mystery means that there's something that... That's not known to me, right? Even though I see it, can't be known to your flesh, right? So that's to excite us. You know what? I want to get to know what this really means. You can't, you can't man. preach a, you can't preach a progressive word or gospel without it being a mystery revealed. No, the gospel I, I, itself is revelation. Yeah, that's, that's why that's Paul said, news. "I'm not ashamed of it." Yeah, because Paul received the revelation of God on the road to Damascus. That's why they want to kill him. Watch this. I'm sorry, but I got to keep going. <laughs> Listen, why in Acts 23 to 27 did they want to kill Paul? Because wow. wow, you know man. why? Festus. That's right. Felix, Agrippa, and all them thought they killed Jesus. Yes, that's right. So here comes this dude who used to be just like us. Who said he, he was, was a alive. part of Sanhedrin. That's right. That said he met Jesus on the road <laughs> to Damascus. Did we kill him? Come on, man. Come on, man. Did, and, did we kill uh, him? How, he must be a lunatic. He must be crazy. <laughs> How did Paul meet it, him on the road to Damascus and he and we killed him? Wow. They didn't have revelation. No, sir. They didn't have revelation. Wow. Amen. So God bless you tonight. Wow. We're going to be back on. 
Um, next week, we want to thank God for you. We're going to do this. We're going to continue to do it because until God begins to open up the ears and the eyes of those who just think church is something we go to no. to give our tithes and no, our offering, man, no. to show oh, up and say we read our Bible, we study. It's more than that, child, children of God. The revealed word of God. The Bible says, then he opened up their understanding that they might understand the scripture. Yes. Uh, the wow. disciples didn't know who, who he was, yet they walked with him until he revealed himself That's to right. them. The Holy Ghost now is a revealer because the Holy Ghost is the spirit, the word of God. The man Jesus will never live again. Wow. All right. But the Bible says in John 14, 26, what does it say? If I go not away, the father, the comforter cannot come. Which Who the, the father, father is, is going to send, gonna send in, my name. in my name. Here we go again. Revelation. Wow. And he shall lead, teach you all things, lead and guide you and to all, all truth. truth. He. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the Holy Ghost is not an <laughs> it. <laughs> it is a he. Because the Holy Spirit wow. is the word of God. That's right. Amen. So we're going to do wow, this next man. time. God bless you, children of God. We just want to say we love you very much. Amen. And you are amazing. Yes. In Jesus' name, let the people know you love them. Doc. Uh, we love you. I, I, I truly love y'all. And, and before we go, close off, I wanted to say this. I was taught whatever you value the most, you never give away. But when you want to experience the, when you want someone one else to experience the value you have for what you have, you will give it away freely. Freely God gave, freely we should give. Yes. Amen. So I love y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed day. I hope y'all get in the Word and try to find something that you didn't understand and watch God reveal it to you. Amen. If you are in a church home where they just preaching homiletics or hermeneutics exegesis and exegesis i thank god for the degree got two of them but that does not enhance my revelation no, sir that only Can't. comes in the spirit through prayer and giving over to the word of god so god bless you tonight we love you very much in jesus name stay blessed love y'all